So you wanna connect your camera to your computer because you're tired of your webcam looking like this? And would rather it look like this to impress your boss, your family members, and your friends. Well, trust me, it is easier than you think. And in this video, I'm gonna be holding your hand and showing you exactly how to do it. Here, hold my hand, hold, no? Fine, all right, I guess I'll just show you how to do this then, I guess. So first, let's make sure that your camera is actually capable of being used as a webcam. Now, some cameras can actually be used as a webcam without needing additional hardware, such as the a7 IV or the Sony ZV-1, and a few newer cameras can do that as well. Now, to find out if your camera is actually compatible to be used as a webcam without the use of additional hardware, just find the model number and then Google, can I use X camera as a webcam, and you should be able to find your answer there. However, in this video, I'm just gonna assume that your camera doesn't have that function built into it. So spoiler alert, we're gonna be using the Elgato Cam Link and I'm gonna show you the entire checklist of all the hardware you're gonna need and then I'll show you how to set it up on your computer so you can look as good as I do. Was that, was that, was that, was that too much? Honestly, I don't even think it's enough. Now, just as a heads up with the Elgato Cam Link, there are certain cameras that work well with this and don't work well. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so you guys can check to see if your camera works really well with this or not. I'm gonna be completely honest though, if you have a pretty new camera, it should work with it. I haven't found a camera yet that it hasn't been able to work with it, so, but check the link in the description just in case. So now that we've verified that your camera is gonna be compatible with this, it's gonna be time to go on a shopping spree. <laughs> Cause you're probably gonna need a few things you might not have laying around your house. Unless your name is IMB Paula, then you've got plenty of it laying around. <laughs> now, as I already said, we will be using the Elgato Cam Link to connect our PC to our camera. You will also need an HDMI to HDMI or micro HDMI to HDMI cable. And to find out which version of HDMI cable you need, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just look on the side of your camera and see if you see one of these two ports. On the left-hand side, we have a full-size HDMI port. And on the right-hand side, we have a micro HDMI port. Now, to hold your camera to the desk so you're not just holding it the entire time, we're gonna want a desk clamp or a tabletop tripod. Now, technically, this is all you really need to make this work, but a couple of things you might also want are constant power delivery in the event that you're streaming or recording with this camera for long periods of time. Otherwise, you will be swapping out batteries a lot. And that's assuming if you even have extra batteries laying around. You also might want a quick release plate if you use your camera for other things like creating content or taking photos. This will allow you to go ahead and attach and remove your camera much easier than screwing it onto the top of the desk clamp every single time, which I dread. Oh, and by the way, if you need any of this, it'll all be linked below. They are affiliate links, so it helps me stay off that ramen noodle diet. So if you guys need anything, it'd be cool if you bought down there. So now that we bought all that stuff using the links below, let's go ahead and get it physically set up. So first we're gonna wanna go ahead and clamp the arm to the desk in the position that we want our camera to be in and attach the quick release plate if you got one of those. If you have the quick release plate attached, then you wanna go ahead and take the plate and connect it to the bottom of the camera itself and make sure it is snug so it doesn't spin around. Next, we're gonna plug in the Elgato capture card into the PC using the included USB extension. This helps keeps it away from the PC and also it reduces the heat from it and it's just easier to use. Also, be sure to plug this into a USB 3.0 port or higher as it might not function if it's plugged into a USB 2.0. Most PCs will have a color code of the port, whether it's blue or just a different color, and it will show you that it's USB 3.0 or higher. And also secret tip though, is if you guys want, you can get a USB-C to A adapter and use one of your spare USB-C ports to plug in the capture card instead. Link down below. Okay, once we have the Elgato Cam Link connected to our PC, then we'll want to connect the actual HDMI to the Cam Link and connect the other end to the actual camera itself. Now, if you did get a constant power supply or if you're able to use USB-C delivery for power, go ahead and plug those into the camera and we should be all set. Now that we have all that connected, let's go ahead and turn it on and use it as a webcam. Now to set this up for streaming and recording, go to your broadcast software of choice. I'm personally using Meld. And then you wanna go ahead and add a layer or source to your scene. So click on video device once you go to your scene that you wanna add this to. Then click Elgato Cam Link 4K and it should be working after that. You should be good to stream and start recording. Now, if you plan on using this mainly for meetings or things like Discord, then all you really need to do is when you hop in a meeting or Discord call, you can actually use the drop down for the webcam and then just select Elgato Cam Link 4K. It's really simple because using the Elgato Cam Link 4K, it just shows up as a webcam. So that's actually all you need to do to connect your camera to your PC and use it as a webcam. But there are a few things that I wanna to mention to you that I believe are crucial to delivering you the best experience when using your camera as a webcam. First thing, some cameras will actually need to enable a clean HDMI out, which means it will not have the text or information on the actual camera displayed on your webcam output. 
I suggest just Googling it like we did before. So find your camera model and then just type it into Google saying how to enable a clean HDMI output for X camera model. Secondly, although the cam link can display in 4K, I personally use 1080p because it will actually generate less heat. And yes, cameras do overheat and will shut down. And you definitely don't want that in the middle of an important meeting and or streaming slash recording. Now, since we're on the topic of heat, some of these cameras actually have a high temperature heat setting, which means it will actually increase the level it needs to reach in heat before it actually shuts down. So this will help you so it doesn't just prematurely just stop in the middle of a recording or streaming. If you wanna see if your camera has that setting, just Google does X camera actually have a high temperature heat setting. Now, lastly, if you guys have no idea how to set up the actual camera itself to look the best it can on screen, go ahead and actually look at the link in the description as I've made a video on how to actually set up every single setting for most cameras to look as good as they possibly can. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor and throw it a like or even just comment down below. Was this even helpful? Should I have made this video in the first place? But thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want more videos from me about tech and other things like that, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.